What's all this about? We obviously don't understand the word, seeing as how you're here. Solicitor's letters? Don't you think you're getting a bit over the top? That's rich coming from you, isn't it? Listen, Jenny, I've told you thousands of times to stay away from me, but you just don't listen. So I thought something more official might make you take notice. But this makes me sound like a criminal. That letter tells you that you shouldn't even be here. Now, I could call the police. It's only a solicitor's letter, not an injunction. If only you knew the truth, you wouldn't be treating me like this. What's that supposed to mean? I just don't realise how valuable our time together is to me. Jenny, just go. And don't even think about ringing me next week or sending me flowers or anything like that. Because you'll just be wasting your time. Because I'm taking the kids on holiday. In fact, the solicitor suggested that I do it. He thought it best if I keep away from you for a while. What have you been telling him about me? Only the truth. He's very sympathetic, if you must know. Well, where are you going? It's got nothing to do with you. Just go away and leave me alone. Or I will phone the police, and I mean it. I mean, one day you're going to look back on this and feel so guilty for the way you treated me. I only hope you'll be able to live with yourself. What did she want? Not too happy about the sister's letter. What's she playing at? The letter's supposed to frighten her off. Yeah, it did. It's just no getting through to her. Anyway, I'm not worrying about all that. We're off on our rolls tonight and just looking forward to that. Yeah, eh. Uh, well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, mate. What time are you getting off? Well, I've hired a car, pick it up this Avi, get Leo and Gemma straight from school. About five ish, do you? Eh, uh, well, to be honest, Mick, I've been having second thoughts about going, you know. Well, sir? Well, I went down and stayed at the prison last night. Oh, yeah, how did it go? It was brilliant. There's a cracking atmosphere down there, but I feel tight about getting off. You know, I feel like I'm letting them down. Yeah, well, they're all still going to be there next week, aren't they? And no one's going to begrudge you a holiday after all you've been through, Sid. You know, the kids were really looking forward to it when I said you were coming. You'd be really disappointed if you let them down now. Yeah. I suppose you twisted me arm, then. Better go pack me bucket and spade. <laughs> See you later. All right, Sid. from day one. Oh, well, that's a late than never, eh? <laughs> it's a lovely day for it, isn't it? Yeah, the weather's been great. Even the nights have been quite warm. Oh, might even be able to get a bit of a suntan in the bag. <laughs> hey, I brought a pile of butter here. You. Nothing special. Only salmon spread. I mean, I can't afford anything too exotic on my pension. <laughs> well, it's the thought that counts. Hmm? Pretty people here, aren't they? It's going from strength to strength. <laughs> what do you do with that thing? Oh, just a bit of chanting, you know, trying to make a bit of noise. Hey, if you're looking for entertainment, I don't mind giving a bit of a sing-song. Well, um, I don't know, really. <laughs> well, I'll sing something appropriate, of course. I mean, I'm sure these women would be made up with a bit of a sing-song. I don't think it'd do any harm. Well, yeah, then you better take it, then. <laughs> oh, all right, Maxie. Been uh, lumbered with the kids again, I see. Well, I'd um, hardly uh, use the word lumbered. Your pat down the prison again last night, was she? Um, yes, she is, actually. I'd be getting worried about her if I were you, mate. Before you know it, she'd be shaving her head and running off to some commune. <laughs> I don't think so, somehow. Well, there's no way I'd be putting up with her, I tell you. I'm Bev Nosey. I say what goes on in our house. I'm surprised your Rosie hasn't been down there. She's been involved with this, sir. Uh, Stuff in the past, didn't she? Well, she wants to go, like, but uh, put me foot down, didn't I? Like you. That's all there was, not it? Good on you, mate, and that's just how it should be. At least some of us can control our women, eh? Yeah, yeah. I think that's the uh, the right money. Thanks, Max. Come on, Thomas. Ta da. See ya. He is right under the thumb, that fella. You see, Eddie, that's what happens when you give women too much freedom. They start taking advantage. And that's why you've got to lay the law down from day one, let them know who the boss is. You shouldn't have let me eat that onion barkey thing, you know, Pat. Just give me a telephone. 
Well, on food always has that effect on me. Still, I suppose she'll be grateful it isn't wind. I should be making a move, really. Max will be wondering where I've got to. It must be lovely having a fellow who worries about him. But my Jimmy hasn't even noticed to come recently. Yes. <laughs> oh, I might have known he finds the way of cashing in on this. Right, ladies, I have come to your rescue. Yay! Actually, girls, I'm doing a nice line on porridge this week, if anybody's interested. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, shouldn't I be asking you that question? Kev's getting cheesed off filling in for you at that shop. Hey, I'm due on holiday. It's ages since I last had some time off. I'm owed. Jackie, just when are you coming back, love? I've really been pushed, you know. I'll probably be back on Monday. Right. You fancy giving us a hand now? I'm here to protest, not sell bags of crisps. I think it's very distasteful cashing in on other people's misfortunes. Excuse me, Julia, but I'm performing a service here, aren't I? Right, come on, girls. Shop's open. Well, I won't be buying anything from him. The price is he charges. Sick of the devil, that's that. This is the wrong way, Carl. I'm sure the sign said outpatients was down there. Yeah, I go. What have we stopped here for? That fireman's in there. Part of me wants to go in and see him. Oh, uh, come on, son. You're not doing yourself any favours hanging around here. You'll only end up feeling worse. Oh, God, please let him pull through. Oh, I. Since when have you become religious? You'll turn to anything when you're desperate enough, won't you? There you go, love. Thanks a lot. Um, Next, please. Flight love, what can I get you? With my little eye, something beginning with D. Dress? No. Do? No. Diamonds? No. Are they real? I was. Dungarees? Well, there's plenty there. Mm -hmm. No. Two. Two. I can't see anything else beginning with a D. No, no, can I? Should we give up? Well, if you give up again, another girl. Oh, go on, then I give up. Dolphin. Are you hallucinating or something? No, there's a dolphin painted on the side of the Moby. That's not a dolphin, it's a whale, you daft me. It looks like a dolphin to me. Of course it's a whale. It's supposed to be Moby Dick, isn't it? Is it? What else did you think it was supposed to be? Mobile shop, Moby, Moby Dick. Don't you get it? Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's only just clicked on. <laughs> it's quite clever, that, isn't it? I spy with my little eyes from the oh, beginning. Oh, Moscow didn't count. Max. Oh, hello, love. Come to give us your support, have you? Uh, no, not exactly. All right, Maxie. I didn't know you were one of these women lippers. <laughs> you know me, Ron. I'm the new model man. A working dad and house husband all rolled into one. Can I have a word? Yeah, yeah, of course. He didn't look too happy, did he? I hope there's not going to be any trouble. Where's Thomas and Alice? They're in the car. Is everything all right? Well, no, not really. Look, Patricia, I don't want you to think that I've come all this way to have a go at you, but what the hell do you think you're playing at? You were supposed to be home hours ago. I'm sorry, I just got a bit carried away. You know? I lost track of the time. Look, I know you think I, I haven't been very supportive about this campaign of yours, but it's, it's not really like that. You seem to forget that I'm having to run the restaurant single-handedly. Now, your mum and dad are up to their eyes at the gift box, and so I can't ask them to look after Thomas and Alice. But the top and the bottom of it is, I can't cope without you. Then why didn't you say all that before? Instead of just patronising me and making out that this whole campaign was just a waste of time. I'm sorry if I haven't taken you very seriously. No, I never meant to patronise you at all. But I must admit, I... I have been feeling a little neglected of late. It's only because I wanted to see a little bit more of you. Look, I, I don't want to pressurise you into coming home. I'm not really a Ron Dixon, you know. I, I do admire you for sticking by your principles. I want you to come home because you want to, not because you feel you have to. But I tell you what, I'll go and wait in the car. And if you want to come home, I'll just be across the road. 
And if not, um, well, I'll leave it to you, don't I? Yeah, well, everything's under control. Yeah, well, we're pleased with it this end. All right. Yeah, OK. All right, I'll speak to you then. Bye. All right. Can I have a word? Of course you can. Preferably somewhere a bit quieter. Oh. Laura? Do you uh, fancy a coffee? No, thanks. I'm not stopping. So, um... What was it you wanted to talk to me about? It's about this loan. Look, I've told you. Yeah, I know what you told me. And I don't believe you ever had any intentions of lending me that money. You'd only made out you were interested to get me into bed. Keep your voice down, will you? Yeah, well, it's the truth, isn't it? Hang on. What are you saying here? That you only slept with me because you wanted the money? What do you think I am? You tell me. You use me. And once you got what you wanted, that was it. Yeah, well, two can play that game. What are you saying? I'm saying, if you don't lend me the money, then I'm going to tell Katie what happened the other night. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell her. You've got more to lose than I have. I'm being serious, you know. So am I. All right, Jack. What are you doing here? Oh, are yeah. Um, I was in town, so just thought I'd pop in. All right. Um, wouldn't you fancy a guided tour? I'll show the editing suite and that if you like. Yeah. All right. Come on, then. Right, I better go. All right then, look, fair enough. You don't think I'm letting the side down? No, of course not. Will you come back tomorrow? Probably not. I think I'm going to give it a rest for a while. Seems to have taken on a life of its own. Oh. Well, you have got your two little kiddies to think about, haven't you? Yeah, and to be honest, I do feel I've neglected them a bit in the last week. Listen, you don't have to make excuses to us, you know. You've done more than your fair share already. And there's enough people here to keep it going. Right, well, I better be off before Max leaves without me. All right, then. See you soon, then, eh? Take care, eh? Charlo. Charlo. Do you think her fellow's put his foot down and told her that she's have to go home? I shouldn't think so. I don't think Max is like that, really, you know. Hello, you two. Hiya, Mummy. I told the others I'd give it a rest for a while. Is that what you really want? Yes. Shall we go home? Yeah. Plane. Well, that's not as complicated as it looks. Oh, I wouldn't have a clue where to start. So is this where you put it all together, then? Oh, don't touch anything. I'm just putting the finishing touches to a corporate video I'm being commissioned to do for light manufacturers. They're paying us an absolute bomb to do it. Sean's made up with it. He reckons it can lead to more work. Do you want to see some of it? Oh, sounds a bit boring. Well, it looks really good. I'll show you a bit. Well, what's that? This is the master tape. You wouldn't believe how much this is worth. What, just for making a few videos? No, no, they're only the copies. Just think how much money's gone into making this. If anything happens to it, we lose thousands and thousands of pounds. Honest? Jean, I've been thinking. We really ought to have a word with Sinbad, you know. Tell him about Rachel's letters. Do you think that's wise? He has a right to know. And Rachel? Well, we'll just have to cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm sure if we explain the thing properly, she'll understand. Well, if you think that's for the best... I do. I shall go over and have a chat with him when we're finished here. It's the decent thing to do. Oh, God, what do they want? Well... There's only one way of finding out. What do we want? The George Ashton House! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? The George Ashton House! When do we want it? Now! What do we want? The George Ashton House! When do we want it? Now! Jack, 
Becky! I'm gonna get off now, love. Now look, you'll definitely be in Monday, won't you? Yeah, I should think so. Yeah, but you won't let me down, will you, love? I've been getting enough of your ache off, Bev. I've never let you down before, have I? Yeah, but you've hardly been Mrs. Reliable this week either, have you? I told you, count this as me holiday. And I hope she'll be on full pay, the amount of years she'll be working for you. You're joking, aren't you? Hiya, Rosie. Nice to see you, love. Yeah, I thought it was about time I did a little stint. Oh, hello, Rosie. I thought your father had barred you from coming down here. No, you're kidding, aren't you? What's I got to do with him? You tell him, Rosie. Go to the bar, before I go, then. Oh, no, sir. Bought some butties and a flask with me. Right, well, I'll get off, then. I'll see you. Have a nice night, ladies, and I shall be thinking of you all when I'm nicely tucked up in my lovely comfy four-poster bed. <laughs> He been here? Must be near Grouse now. He must have made a fortune. Oh, didn't expect to be so many people. Yeah, there's been quite a few turn up today. Oh, the bands look great. Yeah. Don't they? Oh, I should have brought me camera. I could have sent a photo to Mandy and Beth. Oh, yeah, no, that's a good idea. We should do that. Hey, I see you brought your sleeping bag. You planning on sleeping the night here? Oh, no, just thought I'd do a few hours. In case it gets chilly, like. Is this. your fella okay about coming down here? Who cares if he's okay or not? Oh, nice one. That's what we like to hear, isn't it? Fellas. Oh, nice the night. <laughs> all right, Ted. Everything all right? All right, Sid. Yeah, yeah, they just want to talk to our Carl about that explosion he got caught up in witness, you know. All oh, right, yeah. Going somewhere nice? Yeah, going to Southport for the week with Mick and the kids. All oh, right, nice one. Well, enjoy yourself. Yeah, will do. See you, Ted. See you, Sid. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? No, no, really, Jean. I'm fine on my own. Oh, well, best of luck, then. I just hope we've made the right decision. Yes, I'm sure we have. Mm. Ah, Eddie. Everything all right here? Oh, yeah, nothing to worry about, Bing. They're just having a word with our Carl about that explosion and witness, you know. Only as a witness, like. I see. Are they any closer to finding the thugs who are responsible? Uh, not that I know of, no. Well, I'm sure they'll get him eventually. Yeah. Right, I'll leave you to it. I was just popping in to have a brief word with Sinbad. Oh, you just missed him. He's gone round to Mick Johnson's. They're going on holiday with him and the kids. Oh. Did he say how long for? Uh, a week, I think. He's only just gone. You'll be able to catch up with him at the pizza parlor. Ah, I was rather hoping to have a word with him on his own, actually. Was there anything important, Dave? No, oh, I suppose you can wait. Right, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you along. See ya. <sighs> All right, well, listen. I'll see ya. Bye. Turn around. So what did they have to say? They just come round to let me know the fireman's gonna be okay. He came round just before. He's still in Aussie, but they've taken him out of intensive care. Well, that's great news, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. But now he's okay. He's gonna give his evidence against me. I'm not gonna stand a chance. He's gonna point the finger right at me. You don't know that yet, do you? Hey, Andy! What was that you were saying this morning about putting your foot down with Rosie going on this protest? Hey? Only I've just seen her down there now. She's standing up with a sleeping bag and everything. Looks like she's settling in for the night. You're kidding me. No, you said you had it under control. What's he playing with? So, what do you think? Oh, it was the most boringest thing I've ever seen. I can't believe it cost so much money. I know it's not exactly a town and a wheeze, but was it cut together well? I oh, have no idea. Look, I'd better get off. All right, then just go to Bobbin and I'll show you out. All right, then. Only be a sec. Me, you wouldn't come down here. Yeah, I changed my mind, Dad. 
Uh, come on, let's get home, eh? No, Ed, I want to stay. But well, you're pregnant, you should be at home relaxing. Oh, just look around you. What arm can I come to? Oh, there's a really nice atmosphere here. Everyone's looking out for each other. Nothing can go wrong. All right, if you want to do your little stint, then fair enough. I'll come back for you in about an hour, OK? Uh, how do you know I'm not planning on staying the night? You must be joking. What do you think? Look, when Mandy and Beth are finally released, I want to be able to say I did my bit to help. But you don't have to sleep out here all night to prove that you know. No, I don't have to, but I want to. Oh, come on, I'll be reasonable, eh? No, Ed. No, you be reasonable. What about all them nights you stayed out picketing for things you believed in? I didn't like being at home on my own, especially when the kids were younger. But I never complained. I knew how important it was to you and your principles. Well, now it's my turn. And I'd really appreciate it if you could give me the same support. I'm not going to win this one, am I? Nope. Well, in that case, if you're not going to come home with me, any chance of seeing your sleeping bag? Are you serious? I haven't got much choice, have I? Move over, girls. Room for a little one? <laughs> OK, the last one to the car stinks. <laughs> Go on. See, man, stays. No, hang on. What I meant to say was the last one to the car wins the lottery next week. <laughs> yeah, mate, get all set. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Nice one. How long does it take to get there, though? Oh, not long, son. An hour tops. And hey, Leo, don't be doing usual. Are we nearly there, Dad, before we even left Liverpool? <laughs> Go on, get in. Make sure you got your seatbelts on. Hey, Southport, here we come. I'm dead excited, you know. I must admit, I'm looking forward to it. It'd be nice to get away for a bit of peace and quiet, away from everybody. Mm. Hey, I reckon that solicitor was right, you know. It'll do you the world of good to get away from that Jenny one for a few days. Now, you promised me something, Sin. What? That you won't mention her name again. I'm going to get away from her. From now on, the J Weird is banned. What with? Jenny? Dad? Yes, son? Are we nearly there yet? Oh, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's not going to keep you going, is it? You need some knots inside you. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a couple of rashes of bacon. Yeah, well, we'll just have to make do, won't we? Hey, well, you should not have to make do in your condition. No, thanks, yes. Yeah. not when I get out. Yeah, well, make sure you do, and make sure you get your feet up as well, eh? Uh, aren't you going to be late for work? Uh, keep an eye on this one for us, will you, girls? She's oh. some together. Time to go, isn't it, love? All right, all right. I'll get off home, then. Get myself cleaned up for work. All right. See you later. Yeah. And don't you be overdue. Mm -hmm. Bye, love. Hey, see you, love. Thanks for the support, eh? Mm. Oh, sweat. To victory! <laughs> Bye, Bye, love. Well, 
Looks like it's just the three of us. I don't know about that. Looks like we've got company. How many eggs in? Eh, uh, two's fine for me, please, me. I'm going on a fast stand. As soon as me and your uncle Simba have had something to eat. I want to go down the beach as well. Hey, there's no rush, you two. We've got all week to ourselves, so don't worry, we'll get everything done. Are we going to build a sandcastle? Hey, too, right? We are. I've got my bucket and spade here. <laughs> Just gonna love donkeys, Dad. Oh, we're at the seaside, aren't we? Sand? Oh, it's great, this, isn't it? It's like being their age again, not a care in the world. Yeah, it's just what I needed. It's what we both need, getting away from it all. No hassle, no trouble, no anything. Just a beautiful day in. Hey. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, you can smell the sea from here, mate. I've heard about these Spanish fellas. They'll be all over you. As if you will, and anyway, I've told you I'm not interested. Oh, yeah. Only got eyes for me, have you? Oh, yeah, defo. Real smoothie, aren't you? I have my moment. <clears throat> um, I just want to get a drink. It's all right. We just talked about our holiday, weren't we? Oh, why? Yeah, I was just warning Katie about all those Spanish fellas. Always on the pool. Hey, as if I cop off with anyone when I'm going out with you. I mean, you wouldn't do it to me, would you? <laughs> of course not. Well, then I wouldn't do it to you either. Hey, I was only joking. Anyway, I got Jackie there to keep an eye on you, haven't I? Hmm. Listen, I better go. I got loads to do with. You gonna come round later? Well, I'll see what time I get away, yeah? Yeah. See you later. Yeah. You know what? I'm really gonna miss him. You what? When we're on holiday. We're really into each other. It's just going dead well. Do you think you're getting a bit carried away, like? What? Well, you know, you and him. I mean, you haven't known each other that long. You sure he's right for you? Yeah. I think he might be the one, Jack. I really do. Anyway, I'd better go and get dressed. Up along on your way out. All right, Dad. You'll be going. I thought you were my cab. No, no, I've just come back from the protest. Left your mum and the girls there. How'd they get on? Fine. Your mum seems a bit tired, though, but they all seem pretty determined to see it through. You know what these women are like. You made a strong stuff, eh? Yeah, so uh, where are you off? Cop shop. You what? The busies want to see me. About the fire? They're going to charge you. Carl? I don't think they want to invite me to the policeman's ball. <sighs> God almighty, what are you like, eh? Dad, I don't need this. Uh, and do you think I do? You don't have to pick your moment, sunshine. Come on, jump in. What about your work? Forget me work, soft lad. You're one step away from joining the jaw dashes behind bars. Now, come on, jump in. Shut that door. Only a precaution? Yeah, but we're not causing any trouble. At the moment. What do you mean? I take it you're expecting more support? Well, yeah, a few more, like, you know, from women's groups and that. And that's it? Oh, well, yeah. I see. What's going on, officer? We've heard that certain other groups are looking to attach themselves to your protest. What other groups? Anarchists, animal rights, you name it. If it's a protest, they'll be there. Well, they're nothing to do with us. This is all about two innocent women stuck in that prison, love. I'm well aware of that, but unfortunately, this group will jump on any bandwagon, yours included. Oh, right, right. So if this rentum or whatever they are do turn up, you're going to break this protest up? Listen, I'm happy about you being here. Oh, yeah. But this demonstration has to remain peaceful. Yeah, what if it doesn't? Look, it's my job to maintain public order, and I have got the manpower to do it. But if things start to get out of hand, I'm afraid I'll have to move you on. I'm sorry. Oh. Thanks for your time. Oh, thank you. Benton, Good grief. Yeah, he's bluffing. They're just sick of the sight of us, that's all. Do anything to stop us having a voice. Oh. Who's he? Are you all right? Um, yeah. What's up, Bill? Yeah, um, oh, I just felt a bit like I did. Uh, probably haven't eaten enough. Listen, love, why don't we go on, mate? Oh. Have a little rest. Well, I'll let you two down, leave. Yeah, no, she's right. You're going home. Oh, but I oh. know. But you are exhausted. I'm going to call you a taxi. Mm. Get out of the 
That's not Is everything all right? You what? Know, with the baby? Though. Yeah, yeah. I just, um, just a bit tired. Yeah. Been over two, innit? Everyone's gonna be all right. <laughs> Do you want to go to the beach? Yeah, hold on, son. Can I have ice cream? In a minute, James. Hey, the ice creams are on me. Nice one? Yeah, I've just milked the fruity. <laughs> are you still on that? It's going to pay out in a minute. I know it is. Ah, damn. Mick, you're going to be here till Crimble trying to get your money back on that. Come on, kids. Strawberry ripples are on me. Yeah. Hey, wait for me. Oh, typical. OK, give us a minute. How much longer are they going to keep us waiting? I don't know. You go. I'll be OK on my own. Listen, Pegleg, I'm staying in with you, so button it. Carl Banks? Right, that's us. Uh, do you want me to come in with you? No, you go. Don't worry. I'll, uh, I'll wait here for you, son. Spot on, that son. Yeah. Yeah, Jim, look at that. Fit for the Queen. <laughs> hey, come on. Let's have a full tea, eh? Yeah. Go on, Jim. Get in this one for Sinbad. OK, come on, come on. I want to get in there. Let's stick this work of art in here. I'm in the middle. Get me good side, you know. Yeah. Got both of them. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Yes. Yes, nice one. Hey, Amick, I'll get one of you and the kids. Oh, nice one, sir. Right. Is it wound on? Yeah, just, just click it, mate. Right, just OK. There we go, kids. OK. Make sure you get the castle in. Right, the dog trousers. <laughs> Everything all right, son? Uh, yeah, yeah, sounds. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> right, who wants some nice cold drinks? Cold, please. Cold. Oh, I'll, I'll get them, son. You got the ice cream? No, you know what I make? It's OK. I've got to go for the Jimmy Riddle anyway. I'll just get my jacket. Cheers, mate. What's it like? <laughs> Where the hell is it? I left it here like you told me. Yeah, well, it's not here now, so where is it? I don't know. Look, maybe somebody broke in at the weekend or something. The alarm was on when I opened up this morning. One of us must have moved. Well, it wasn't me. I'd remember if I had. Damn. What am I going to do? God knows. Ten grand's worth of work, and the tape's got to be with the client by Friday. Look, we're going to have to phone the busies, aren't we? No way. Why not? I just don't want the coppers crawling all over the place, all right? What if the client finds out? They'll have us marked down as some sort of cowboys. Can't even look after their own master tape. So, what do we do then? We keep looking. We take this place apart brick by brick if we have to. Because if we don't find that tape, there's going to have to be some cutbacks around here. And as I'm the boss, it ain't going to be me looking for a new job. Are you for real or what? Oh, hiya. Oh, you're nothing. What the hell are you playing at? I just wanted to see Mick. Well, he doesn't want to see you. Can't you get it through your head? He doesn't want to know you. That's not true. It is true. He's pig sick of your hassling him. Why do you think he's come away with the kids? It's to get away from you. No. Yes. Just leave the lad alone. Get out of his face. Let him get on with his life. I am his life. No, you're not. He's not interested. You're nothing to him. He doesn't want to know you, so just go home, eh? I can't go. Go home, or I'll tell the busies you've been following us. Now go on, do one. But... Just go. What do you want, son? Just get out of here, eh? Why? What happened? What did he say? He's just going. Bloody hell. They've charged you, haven't they? Not attempted murder. Or something. No. But what have they charged you with, Carl? Nothing. Hey, it's all over. You are. Fireman backed my story up. They haven't charged me with anything. And that's it. Free to go. You jammy little get.
Bit of spring cleaning, eh? Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, I was just passing. Yeah, well, I'm busy, all right? Too busy to talk business. What? You've still got something of mine, remember? You promised to lend me the deposit on the shop. I didn't promise you that, and I'm not interested in lending you money, all right? Even if you knew I had something of yours. What? Well, it looks to me like you've lost something. Some tapes, maybe. What? You took them? Yeah, he took your tapes. Well, where are they? Somewhere. What is this? What are you playing at? I'm playing at nothing. You loan me the £2,000 you promised me, and I'll give you the tapes back. Well, that's blackmail. You're off your head. Yeah. Well, I was off my head for sleeping with you, believing all that crap about you lending me money. Oh, so that's why you slept with me. For the money. There's a word for girls like you. Yeah. Divvy. I slept with you because I fancy each other and because I let you wrap me around your little finger with all your promises and everything. The money didn't even come into it. And I hate myself for what I've done because I can't even look my best mate in the eye. You crapped on me and you crapped on Katie as well. So now I'm going to crap on you. £2,000 like you promised me. Well, those tapes go in the bin. All right, Jack. What are you doing here? Um, I was just passing a message on from Casey. Wasn't I, Sean? Uh, yeah. See you around then. See you, Mike. See you, Jack. Any luck with that tape? Yeah. My mistake. I, uh, remember I took it home at the weekend. <sighs> are you joking? Can you see me laughing? And you got any work to do? Yeah, I'm just going. Come on, Sonny Jim, we haven't got all day. Oh, he's given a chance. I'm two hours late for work as it is. You still going in? Yeah, well, one of us has got to make an honest living, haven't we? Just thought we could have a couple of cans or something. You what? Well, you know, celebrate me good news, like. <sighs> I don't believe you sometimes, Cap. What have I done now? What have you done? Oh, well, let's see. Um, you've half killed some poor fireman. You've nearly killed yourself. You've had me and your mother out of our minds with worry. All right, all right. And you seriously expect me to sit down here and drink with you? OK, I said I'm sorry. Sorry? You should be bloody well ashamed of yourself, lad. What sort of an example are you setting for Ali, eh? After all he's been through. Don't you ever think of anyone else, Carl? When are you going to learn, son? Is that you? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, all right, love. Thought you were at work. Yeah, well, I, uh, I got held up. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be up in a sec. Make yourself useful, laughing boy, and put the kettle on, eh? And then I suppose I better go and tell your mother about your, uh, good news. Yeah, well done, Jim. That's what you've got there, no? That's what you're getting. Oh, well, look at that. Nice one for you. What do you say to the nice man? Thank you. Cheers, mate. See you, now. Yeah, come on. Not a bad day, eh, sir? No, not bad at all. You know what? I've forgotten what it was like to relax with you know who on the case, but this is just what the doctor ordered. Hi, <laughs> right, kids. Yep. Seems like they just give him a good telling off. Told him to keep his head down. Oh, thank God for that. He doesn't know how lucky he is. God, thoughts of him having to go to court and that. Yeah, well, it's all over now, so no more worrying about our car, eh? We've got more important things on our mind. Ed, careful. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Is everything all right, mate? What do you mean? Well, with you being in bed and that, you would tell me if anything was wrong, wouldn't you? <sighs> Like what? Well, if you didn't feel well or hey, anything. Hey, listen, of course I would. Look, I told you, I'm just a bit tired. And anyway, you've been telling me to take it easy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know I'll go on, but... Precious cargo, eh? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I suppose I have been a bit uptight, you know, Carl and everything. Yeah, well, like I say, that's all behind us now. Let's start looking forward for a change. Hmm? Mm. Let's do our little girl. Cheers. Come on, 
kids get on? You know what's in the kids to have the time with them, guys. It's just what they need them. Sorry, love, uh, I thought it was someone else. It was all about it. Oh, um, uh, it was a case of mistaken identity. I thought it was the woman that short changed me in the cafe before. Give me a right one for you, know. Oh, right. So, uh, listen, Mick, do you mind if we get off? I've got a bit of a head on me. Yeah, it's been a long day, hasn't it? Yeah. Hey, listen, Sid, thanks for being here, mate. You really will take my mind off this. Well, no sweat. Yeah, come on. Do you know the girls are dying for a decent copper? Well, I've got to keep the troops fed and watered, eh? Oh, great. I'll go and pass them round, shall I? Oh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> so, when do the reinforcements arrive? First thing this morning. I see. They're probably using this as some sort of training exercise. Nope. They're expecting trouble. What sort of trouble? The inspector was going on about public order. What? Mm. Right, that, that's enough. You know, we're going to call this protest off as soon as possible. You do no such thing. This protest continues until Mandy and Beth are let out of there. But and not a second before. Heaven knows when that'll be, G. Look, there is one way in which we might be able to speed things up. Rachel's letters. If we were to show those to the solicitor. Out of the question. But it's new evidence. Rachel has placed her trust in us and we can't betray her. God knows what her reaction will be if we just bulldoze our way in there and take them. Jean, those letters could free Mandy and Beth completely. That's what we all want, isn't it? Absolutely, but the contents of those letters are all innuendo and illusion. They mean nothing unless Rachel actually admits that she slept with her father. How likely is that? Oh, she'll talk eventually. She'll have to for her own sanity. Yes, Jean, but when? I don't I don't know. The more she trusts us, the more likely she is to open up and tell us. So let's not rock the boat, eh? Let's just take things easy. And in the meantime, those two women are left to rot in this godforsaken hole. I can't believe you two are still hungry after all you've eaten today. <laughs> hey, must be all the sea air, eh, kids? Hey, let's get these dished out, eh? Hey, hold on. What's up? Oh, the door's open. Are you sure you locked it before you went out? Oh, well, not at all right. Have we been robbed of? I don't know, Sonia. Stay with you, Uncle Sinbad. Hey, Mick. Take it easy, eh? Is anyone in there? There it goes. Anything missing? Oh, no, I don't think so. It's strange, isn't it? You don't think it's here, do you? No, no, it'll just be kids messing around. Yeah, yeah, it's just the kids. <laughs> hey, come on, kids. Just been stuck in those fishing chests before they go cold, eh? Thanks, that was great. Thank you. Thanks, love. Ta. Ta, Dave, love. Much appreciated. Oh, glad to have been of some help. Listen, Jean said something to me about the police expecting some kind of trouble. Yeah, well, that's what they say, but if you ask me, they're just trying to frighten us away, you know. We're becoming a nuisance, that's all. So, all this talk of rent Yeah, it's news to me. Some of your lot? No, I can't say I recognise them. Where are they? Where are they from? I don't know. I don't know who they are. Well, as long as they're here to support us. Yeah, well, let's just hope they are here to support us, because I don't like the look of them. Who the hell are they? That's the kettle when you first say so. Splash it all on you, and it all over. Where you are, mate? There's them. Right, that's it. Hey, Mick, take it easy. Right, got you. Mick. You. What are you doing here? 
I just needed to see you. Oh, no. No. Mick, please. Look, just get away from here. Get out of my sight before I do something I regret. Mick, just take it easy. Get out of here, Simbad. Get out of my face. Mick, I... She's out cold. What's Miss doing here? Is she all right? Yeah, go back inside and take Gemma with you. Go on, Lee. She's out for the count, mate. You better get an ambulance. Well, go on, go and get an ambulance. Kids. We're fine. Just having a brekkie. Listen, Mick, and Sam, why didn't you tell me you'd seen her yesterday? Because I didn't want to let her ruin the holiday. I thought we could shake her off. So you let her turn up here instead and fight the life out of Leo and Jenna? Yeah, well, I thought I'd warned her off. I thought I got rid of her for good. No one gets rid of us, then. Don't you think I've tried? Yeah, I suppose so. Well, what are we going to do now? About what? About her. I mean, shouldn't we check with the hospital? What for? We'll see if she's all right. You want me to go running after her? We phoned the ambulance and we did more than enough. Let the Aussie take care of her. But what if she's dead ill? Always? Well, I'm sorry about that. But that'd solve a lot of my problems, wouldn't it? Because then she'd be off my back for good. Yeah, and have you seen the state of them? The last time this lot saw soap, I was snogging behind a bike since. Oh, you suck up! They're all hippies! Long gay gets. Probably on drugs and all, or that carry on. Oh, well, you know, wouldn't you, soft lad? Listen, it doesn't matter who they are as long as they're there to support Mandy and Beth and as long as they behave themselves. That's right. More the many. Yeah, well, look like trouble if you ask me. Well, no one was asking you, soft ollies. I'll see you later. Hey, hey, hold on. Don't you want me to hang on, you know, do me bit in there? Well, see, can slag everyone off. No, I don't. See you later, Jimmy Tra. Oh, well, so much for solidarity, eh? I'll see you. Morning, ladies. Hiya. Quite a turnout, eh? Expecting many more? I don't know, 20, maybe. Right, I see. At least we haven't got any trees here. Why? Is there a problem? No, there's not a problem. Don't let everything under control. What do you mean? I mean that as the organiser, it's up to you to ensure that this demonstration remains peaceful and within the law. And what if I can't? If you can't, I will. I'm sorry, but I'd have to end your protest. And in the meantime, you'll have to clear these gates to allow the supply vehicles in and out of the prison. Thanks, Beth. They're lovely. I'm sorry it's not much. Happy birthday. I'm well, as happy as it can be stuck in here. Thanks, Beth. Mm. 
cards from Sinbad. Mm. Nothing from Rachel, I suppose. No. Well, maybe Jean will have a card with her or something when she comes to visit today. Yeah, maybe. Can you hear that? Yeah, what is it? It's coming from outside the wall. From the other side of the gates. Oh, it must be the apprentice. It must be getting bigger. It's almost for us. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Mrs. Jordan. the assistant governor. What for? Maybe they want to give me my birthday cake. Hi. Hi. Is that for my mum? I'm Beth. Apparently your mother's developed a bit of a sweet tooth. All right. Um, listen, I got this for my mum. I was wondering whether you could give it to her. Well, of course I will. It's just a card. Oh, Rachel, she'll be thrilled. It's just to wish her happy birthday. And to let her know you're thinking about it. Yeah, well, I suppose so. Do you have anything planned for today? Not really. Just toss around, I suppose. Why? Well, if you've nothing better to do, why not come and wish your mother happy birthday yourself? You mean go to the prison with you? Well, it was just a thought. It's just that there's a spare place on the visiting order and, well, shame to waste it. I don't know. I don't know if I should. Well, doesn't really matter. Not as though your mother and Beth are going anywhere, is it? I'll tell them you were asking after them. Yes, chuck another one down to me. Right, set them up again. Dad, I want to go see the donkeys. Yeah, and I want to go down the beach. We can both stay around there today. I want to keep an eye on you. Right, set them up again for the last game. I'll go have a word with your dad. Hey, Mick, what sort of a holidays they say? You are? The kids, the board out of the schools. I'd rather have them bored than stalked. Look, she's not going to be stalking anybody, is she, if she's stuck in Aussie somewhere? What do you mean? Well, let's find out what happened to her. If she's an Aussie, we're sound. We can get on with the holiday. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, think about the kids, eh? It's their holiday as well. Yeah, all right. We'll go with the Aussie. Good lad. And I don't worry, we'll get this sorted. Mrs. Crosby? Yeah? It's not too late to change my mind, is it? About what? You know, about coming with you to see my mum, if it's still all right. Of course it is, but hurry up, I'm a bit behind. OK, I'll just go and get my jacket. I won't be a second. <laughs> Quick as you can. Beth? We heard it. This is really going to make the authorities sit up and listen. I think it already has. Why? What's happened? Well, it seems like, um, we had to stop visitors coming in because of the protest. Mm, great, so we're not going to be able to see Jean today. I don't think we'll be seeing Jean for a while. Well, why not? They're going to move us to another prison, Beth. Why? Because of the protest. They're frightened it might get out of hand. Well, they can't do that. Where are they going to move us to? Somewhere in Yorkshire. But that's miles away. How would people visit us and what about the campaign? I tried to argue her, but she wouldn't listen. When are they going to move us? Today. I've got to go right away. Herself out as soon as the ambulance got here. Well, I thought she was sick. Yeah, she is sick, sick in the head. Come on, there's nothing wrong with her. She was just putting it on. 
I thought it was a bit of a miraculous recovery. And now she's out there roaming the streets again. What do you think she's got? I don't know, but she won't be far. Rich is watching us now. I mean, maybe we should just pack up and go home. Hang on, let her win. No way. Well, I can feel her eyes burning at the back of my head. Yeah, it's going to be the same when we go home, isn't it? You're going to get the phone calls again. Oh, God. There's no escape with the woman. Look, I know it's hard, but maybe you should just try and forget about her, eh? What if she has to go with one of the kids or something? Mick, it's you she's interested in, not the kids. And anyway, we can both keep an eye on them. Let's give it a go, eh? Can we go to the beach now, Dad? Yeah, come on, me and Jen probably go see the donkeys, don't we, babe? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Let's go to the beach, eh? For you. Well, I suppose I want to know why you backed my story up. Because you saved my life? And that's it, like. Good enough reason, isn't it? But you were only on that roof because of me. I mean, all this is still my fault. Oh, I know. And I think you're a bloody idiot for starting that fire. People like you make me sick. You don't think, do you? About all the damage you're doing. The people you might kill. I know you were up to no good, pal. I know you were breaking the law. But I also know you didn't have to come back and help me. Not many people would have done that. Hey, listen, I'm really sorry, you know. I don't want to hear it. Well, thanks, then. You know, for getting me off with the coppers. It's not me you've got to thank. Hey. See that woman and two kids who just left this place? Yeah. Wife and family. That's who you gotta thank. What do you mean? If it wasn't for you, she'd be a widow and they'd be fatherless. That's why I didn't shop you. Because of what you did for me. Because of what you did for them. See? Don't be thinking you're the big hero. Because I tell you this, lad. If I wasn't married, if I didn't have kids, I wouldn't have had any hesitation in handing you in. People like you, you're worth nothing. Waste of space. Well, get out of my sight. Oh, I don't feel too 
One jammer, such as the Klinsman's there. <laughs> Did you see that? You what? Behind the windbreaker there. There's somebody watching us. Mick, what are you doing? He's there. I know it is. Mick! Right, you! Something easy. Hey! <laughs> what do you think you're playing at, Carl? You should have stayed away. I wanted to see him. He was doing me heading. Doing your heading? I wanted to know why he didn't shot me. Oh, God almighty, you really push your luck, sunshine. You what? Well, what if you'd wound him up or something, eh? He could have gone to the coppers and changed his story. Nah, there's no chance of that. Oh, I see. Same old Carl, eh? Full of himself. He always knows best. Dad, I saved his life. That's why he didn't shot me. Me and him are quits now. It's all over. Well, I hope so, Carl. Because any more carry on like this and you're out that door. You what? The worry you've caused me and your mother is just not worth it, son. You've got to have more consideration. Your mum's pregnant, for God's sake. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sometimes sorry just isn't good enough. You're on your final warning, Carl. It's time you grew up and started acting like an adult. You've got a kid, for God's sake. What sort of an example are you setting there, eh? I know. I've been a right divvy, haven't I? <laughs> That's putting it mildly. But I have learnt my lesson. I've heard it all before, Carl. No, this time it's different. Lying in the Aussie, it brought everything home to me. How important Becker is, isn't it? I know I haven't been much of a dad to her so far, but I'm going to give her a proper chance in life, so I'm going to get myself sorted. No more messing around. Hello. Yeah, speaking. You what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, 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 I'll be there right away. What's up? That was the police. They're holding your mother down the station. Hiya. All right. Katie's in here. Uh, I didn't come to see Katie. No, oh, I. I thought maybe we could have a talk. What about? About our business deal. All right. Well, you better come in then. Where are they? All right, Ed. You got the call on all, did you? Yeah, yeah. Are they all right? It's to be a bit of an habit, this, picking my missus up from this place. Where are they, Jimmy? They're just bringing them up from the cells. The cells? Yeah, don't be worrying. I'm going to charge them. Just going to give them a caution or something. Oh, oh, don't worry. Rosie's pregnant, for God's sake. Locking pregnant women up, you want to be ashamed of yourself, pal. Eddie, Eddie, take it easy, will you, eh? Here they are. Here they are now. Are you all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Did yeah, you treat it all right? I'm fine, honest. You OK, kid? Hello, Nick. Your test's over. Yeah. You are? I was supposed to be helping get Mandy and Beth out of prison. All we did was get them out to another place miles away. They moved them? Yeah, to Yorkshire. Ah! Oh. No, because we let the process get out of hand. This mob, you know, just hijacked the protest. A lot of hard work wasters. What did I tell you? Hey, I told you those hippies would be nothing but a load of trouble, didn't I? What about poor Al Simba? He's going to be gutted. Yorkshire's miles away. I know, Jimmy, I know. I was going to tell him they've been moved. He's stuck in some caravan on his holidays, isn't he? Yeah, but he should know, shouldn't he? Yeah, well, I'd like to tell him, won't I? Well, go to Southport. Yeah, but he's been mates, isn't he? Hey? How am I going to tell him that you have messed things up for Mandy and Beth, eh? Oh, thanks very much, Jimmy. Yeah, well, I'll see ya. <coughs> so, you and Katie been best mates long, then? A few years, like. She's always talking about you, you know. Jackie's going to do this, Jackie's going to do that. Thinks the world of you. Yeah, and I think she's great as well. Anyway, what is all this? I thought you wanted to talk business. I am talking business. 
Well, what are you on about? I'm talking about Katie knowing our business. You what? Well, I was just wondering how Katie would react if she found out that her best mate had been sleeping with her boyfriend. You wouldn't dare. Wouldn't I? Try me. You don't give a toss about anyone except yourself. That's right, Jack. Always look after number one. So, uh, you better give me those tapes back. Or Katie will find out just what a good mate you really are. Tell her, then. You what? Tell her. Cos I couldn't feel any worse than I do now, anyway. <laughs> what about Katie? How's she gonna feel? Well, she's probably better off without me, isn't she? So go on, tell her. But you're not getting your tapes back. You can't do this to me. Oh, yes, I can. I'm not gonna make you pay. I'm gonna screw you just like you screwed me. So you loan me the £2,000 that you promised me. We can kiss those tapes goodbye. Now, oh, excuse me. Mick, I think it's locked. Yeah, I'm just checking. Dad, can we have one of the windows open in here? It's boiling. No, I'll keep them closed tonight. Keep all the insects out. Why don't you sit down and have a game of cards? No, I'm all right, yeah. You carry on, mate. Snap! Snap! No, you can't go on then. That's not right. You do it that way, yeah. Hi, love. Hi, Jack. You all right, love? Just thought I'd drop by in and see you OK. Well, no, she's not OK, Jack. She's just spent three hours in the police cell. It, so did Jackie. Well, with the greatest respect, love, Jackie isn't five months pregnant. Treating a woman in your condition like that. It's a police state, if you ask me. Maybe Jackie had like a cup of tea yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. Oh, sorry. Oh, Rosie. Is everything all right? I don't know. I still feel a bit dodgy. Shall I call the doctor? No. It'll just be the excitement, you know, today and everything. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. Just keep my feet up. Yeah, not a word to worry him, Willie, in there, all right? Sin? Did you hear that? No. Outside, the noise. What's up? Did you hear a noise outside? I'll go to sleep, Amy. Did you hear that? Yeah, it is. There's somebody out there. God almighty. Oh, no, it's not here again, is it? I'll kill him. I'll take it easy, Mick. What in God's name? Right, you have had enough. <coughs> I told you to stay away from me and my kids. <coughs> it's Jimmy. Behave? What are you playing at, Mick? Oh, you could have killed me there. I'm sorry, Jimmy. Jimmy, what the hell are you doing here? I've come to see you, haven't I? Me? What for? Give you the news. What news? Mandy and Beth. All about them? They've moved them. Moved them? To another prison in Yorkshire. Yorkshire? It's the other side of the country. Yeah, I know, miles away. I've lost them, mate. I'm sorry, mate. I've lost them forever.
what's so interesting then? That kickoff outside the prison. It's made the papers. Does my mum get a mention? No, just a photo of the busies dragging off their protesters. So then some more buys the demo then. It's always somebody else's fault, isn't it, eh? Never the police's. Here we go. <sighs> Listen, son. I was there with your mother the other day. The place was swarming with coppers. Only doing a job. Oh, yeah, but there's ways of doing it, isn't there? And for the police, for all those women. It's heavy handed. And what about this mob that turned up? My mum said they were well rough. Riot shields and truncheons. It's a red rag to a bull. Hey. The police overreacted. Hey, love. Mm. Hey, mum. Seen the paper? There you go. Boys in blue wielding their batons, doing themselves proud. Oh, God. You might as well have not been there. Hey, listen, love, it's not your fault things got out of hand. You did your best, that's all you can do. You got loads of publicity for the campaign mm. as well, didn't you? Well, publicity, yeah, but the wrong source. Yeah, there's no such thing as bad publicity, love. Yeah, see what they say. Fancy a refill? Yeah, it's all. Nah, i better get off. Mm, I'll make a fresh one. And, uh, you're cutting it a bit fine, aren't you? Not even dressed yet. I, um, uh, don't think I'm gonna go in today. Why, what's wrong? How are you feeling now? Eddie, will you stop asking me if I'm all right? I'm fine. Just a bit tired after yesterday. Feel like taking it easy, at all. Well, see you sense at last. That's what I like to hear. Remember, precious cargo. Mm -hmm. mm. See you later. Thanks for larks, aren't you? Yeah, I couldn't get back to sleep once Jimmy got off. Oh, right. How was he? Well, still shaking after last night. <laughs> what do you think about the look on his face? I don't know what came over me, son. Oh, you're all right, Mick. You got a lot on your mind, haven't you? We both have. Fandy and Beth. <sighs> Bad enough being behind bars, but when you're the other side of the country. Real sod's trick, that, isn't it? Mm. It was Mandy's birthday as well yesterday. Nice present for her. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Yeah. Well. Some holiday this has turned out to be, eh? Sure has. You looking over your shoulder every two minutes. You pulling your hair out over Mandy and Beth. Maybe it's time to go home, mate. Do you reckon? Yeah. We're both a bag of nerves, aren't we? Yeah. I'm sure the kids sense as well, eh? Yeah, I'm sure they do. Can't keep running away from things, I suppose. Well, nope. time to go home and face the music. I'll get the kids up. Get back. Yeah. Never did get to see those donkeys. Now, oh, well, maybe next time, mate. Eh? Mom? Have you seen your tracky bottoms? Oh, sorry, love. Your tracky bottoms? Oh, um, no. Sorry, love. Are you all right? Oh, God. Not you as well. Steady, you nag. Yeah. Look, I just wish you and your dad would stop asking me if I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm just a bit tired. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to... No. Me, you should be saying sorry. It, it's just, you know, all your dad going on at me all the time. and shouldn't be doing this, shouldn't be doing that. He's only concerned about you and the baby, you know. I know. He's just so made up about things, he doesn't want anything to go wrong. Do you know what, Mum? I've never seen me dad so happy. Having this baby means the world to him. Yeah. So you can't blame him for being a bit overprotective, can you? Well, go and see if my tracky bottoms are in Lee's room. All right. Are you busy? No, not really. What is it? I've just had Smith and Windsor on the phone. Oh, yeah, and? Do you want to know when we're delivering the tape? Yeah, so what'd you tell them? Well, I said I'd ring them back, but they're expecting it today. Yeah, well, can't you just fob them off? Tell them we're just finishing it. Well, I've already told them it's finished. Well, tell them something else. What, like? I don't know. Just stall them. Well, I already have. Look, why can't we just deliver it today as promised? Because I haven't got the tape, that's why. I thought you said you left it in the house. Yeah, well, never mind what I said. I haven't got it. How come? There's just been a bit of a mix-up, all right? A mix-up? What do you mean? Just leave it, will you, Mike? How can I leave it? I'm getting all the hassle off the clients here. What am I supposed to tell them? What am I going to do? Maybe you better ask your sister that. You are? Oh, Jackie? Yeah, you're Jackie. Well, what's she got to do with all this? Look, maybe you better sit down, Mike. Hippies and anarchists. They're a social menace of the first order. And from what I can gather, the police weren't entirely without blame either. Yes, but these wasters were breaking the law. And amongst these wasters are perfectly innocent women, like Rosie and Jackie and myself. Oh, anyway, what does it matter who's to blame? The most important thing is we're making progress with Rachel. Yes, yes, of course. 
That was a real breakthrough, Jean, your persuading her to visit Mandy. Well done. Just a pity she never got there. Well, it's obvious that she's beginning to soften up. But we've got to keep on at her. Yes, but gently does it. Well, of course, but we mustn't forget the importance of these letters. They could be the only thing that will help get the girls out of prison. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Any news? Have you seen the papers? Yeah. I'm just glad they haven't got us all down as a bunch of hooligans. Those divvies, you know, whoever they were, they ruined everything, didn't they? It's the end of the protest now, isn't it? Oh, do you really think so? Well, doing it on our own doorstep was bad enough, but, I mean, having to go to the other side of the country, we can't go on, can we? Well, the protest may be over, but the campaign certainly isn't. No, of course not. Just because you lose a battle doesn't mean to say you lose the war. Exactly. The fight goes on. Too right it does. <laughs> and we won't give up till those girls are out of prison. Good girl. That's the spirit. <laughs> anyway, got to pop into the library with these books. See you later. OK, bye. See you, love. Right, best get off myself. Oh, Jackie, have you seen anything of Rosie since yesterday? She did seem awfully shaken up. Yes, yeah, she was. Oh, and she's been complaining of tiredness. Yeah, I just think it might be more than tiredness. What do you mean? I reckon it might be the baby. Problem? I'm not sure, Jean, but I, I just don't think she's as well as she's letting on. Well, she must see a doctor. Well, not if she reckons she's all right. She shouldn't be taking any chances at her age. Oh, she needs somebody to talk some sense into her before it's too late. Look, why don't I look in on her? You know, when I've finished here, put all our minds at rest, eh? Oh, would you? And try not to let her fob you off, eh? I won't. <laughs> see you. OK, bye. Hi, hello. Hello. The wanderer returns. Yeah. Brought you a little prezzy from the seaside. Oh. Did you get to see some bad? Yeah. You told him about Mandy and Beth? Broke it to him as gently as I could. Poor fella. Took it bad, did he? <sighs> Gutted. Ruined his holiday. Oh, it's a crying shame, isn't it? Packing them off to the back of beyond like that. Yeah, and after all the hard work you and the girls did, eh? Feels like it's all for nothing, you know? Hey, look on the bright side, kid. Is there a bright side? Hmm? You'll be able to spend more time with me, won't you? I've uh, been missing the little home comforts, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? So, uh, now you've finished campaigning with all your trendy girly friends, you can start spoiling yours truly for a change. The campaign isn't finished, and it won't be till them girls get out of prison. Great. So it won't hold me breath, then, eh? Oh, well, thanks very much, Jimmy. That's just what I wanted to hear. Love, you've got to face the facts. Yeah, and the fact is, you're as cheap and as nasty as this piece of rock here. What am I supposed to do with this? Do you really want me to answer that? What? Well, I thought you were going out with Katie. I was. I am. What were you thinking of? It was just a one-night stand. Just one of those things. God almighty. We'd both been drinking. It didn't mean anything, to be honest. And now she's doing this to me. What's she playing at? I've tried talking to her, make her see sense, but she's not having any of it. This is off its head, this. I think it's because I'm still seeing Katie. What, and she's jealous? Must be. She knows how important that tape is to me. To us. <sighs> this could put us out of business. I know. I've told her, but she won't listen. Maybe if... Maybe if you could have a word. What, you reckon? Big brother and all that, she might listen to you. Yeah, yeah, she'll listen to me. Don't worry, I'll put it straight. Got everything? Yeah, just about. You ready to go? Yeah, kids are in the car. Oh. Interesting holiday, eh? Not off. We get stalked by that nutty cow, and then it ends up with me with my hands around somebody's throat. It's off its head, sin. I don't know where it's gonna end. Yeah, she's really got you rattled, hasn't she? I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I'm too afraid to answer the phone or open the door in case it's here. Well, what are you gonna do? I don't know what I'm gonna do. And the busies don't want to know. Half my mates think it's me that's cracked. I thought Newt would turn to. Yeah, well, I'll still be here for you, mate. Ah, cheers, but you've got enough troubles of your own, haven't you? You're going to be spending most of your time trekking across the country going to see Mandy. Yeah. 
So much for getting away from it, Arlie. I think next time she'll go to the moon. We might have a chance of getting a bit of peace and quiet there. No. No atmosphere, mate. Let's hit the road here. Mom? In there. Um, yeah, all right, love. I'm just gonna hobble around the shops. Do you want anything? Sorry, love. I said I'm just going around the shops. Anything you need? No, no, thanks, love. All right, it won't be long. Just a day or two, probably. Anyway, I'll see you later. Yeah. Yeah, see you, love. Jackie, have you got a minute? All right. How come you're not at work? Because I'm round here trying to save me job, that's why. You are? Oh, don't come near innocent with me. Sean told me about the tapes. Oh, did he? And what else did he tell you? Everything. Well, what kind of everything? About you and him and how you went behind Katie's back. So why are you coming round here? What's it got to do with you? It's got everything to do with me. You're blackmailing me, boss, and I could be out of a job. I'm not blackmailing anybody. So what do you call it, then? I'm getting my own back. <sighs> Sleeping with someone and asking for money. Thanks very much, Mike. Is that what you think of me? Well, that's what I heard. So you believe that dickhead John before you believe your own sister? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. It's written all over your face. Look at you running around here like some errand boy. Right, Jackie. No, it's not all right. You get your facts right before you start accusing me of all sorts. I didn't sleep with anyone for money. I slept with that slime ball of a boss of yours because I was stupid enough to fancy him. It was him who promised me all kinds. And as soon as he got what he wanted, he dropped me like that. So now I'm going to get my own back. I'm going to show him that he can't screw around with me and Katie and get away with it. So you're going to keep the tapes? Too right, I'm keeping the tapes. He knows the score. He lends me 2,000 or else. That's all I want, what he promised. Hi, Mike. All right, mate. Uh, listen, I'm in a bit of a rush. I'll catch you later, OK? See ya. Aye, aye, Carl. Yeah, I'm mucking. How's it going, kid? Knackered. It's taking me ages to get around here. What do you do? I want to be overworking yourself. Do you know you want to take the weight off your feet? Come out, I'll buy you a drink. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. You know, mate. Carl, for me, Bessie. Anything. Step this way. Sit down, love. <clears throat> thanks. <laughs> Rosie, love, you're as white as a sheet. <laughs> you should be in bed. Yeah, I was. I couldn't sleep. Why, love, what's wrong? What is it? I'm spotting. And I went to the toilet before. Oh, God, love. Do you want me to phone the doctor? No, no, not yet. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, everything will be all right. I had this when I had our call. It'll be all right. Dead calm. Listen, do you want me to phone you already? Mm, no point worrying him. Rosie, love, don't you think he should be told? Don't you think you should know? Oh, there's nothing to know yet. But... Probably cleared up by the time he gets home. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Meanwhile, let's uh, let's get you up to bed, eh? No, I'm, Jack, I'm not tired. I'm all right. Rosie, it doesn't matter. You should be resting. Now, come on up those stairs. Come on. Right. Make a nice cup of tea. Go on. All right, I'll go. All right. Yeah. There you go, mate. How's that? Sound. Nice and comfy for you. It's great. Good. Beer. Very kind of you all this, Jimmy. Hey, listen, nothing is too much trouble for a mate. Or should I say partner? Partner? Mm. Yeah, you and me. We're well, like that, aren't we, eh? Blood brothers. What do you mean? Well, you know, helping each other out and that, like our little fireman problem. Oh, yeah, that? Yeah, that. It's not a problem. You see, that's what I like to hear, partner. No problem, oh. No, when I say it isn't a problem, it's because it isn't a problem. Eh? Hey? Fireman. Back my story up. He did what? He said all the busies I was passing, just like I said. What, so they're not going to charge you? That's right. So you're not going to prison? Spot on. Sound. So, um, uh, do I get me five grand back then? No chance. Hey, come on, we had a deal here, mate. Yeah, the deal was I take the rap for you and I've done that. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, nothing. I've earned that money after everything I've been through and I'm going to keep it. So is the freedom, partner. And where is that, exactly? Oh, I see. Thank you. Delivery? 
the prison's address in Yorkshire. Good grief. This is Moore's country. It's miles away. The authorities have obviously given it a great deal of thought. Indeed. Make visiting as awkward as possible. Precisely. And what chance do we have now of persuading Rachel to see Mandy? <sighs> With about a four-hour round trip. Very little, I suspect. And poor old Sinbad. How's he going to cope? God alone knows. Any sign of him coming back yet? No, he's still on holiday. Well, at least the news about the letters should cheer him up. Oh, Hi. hello, Jackie. Bad news, I'm afraid. What is it? That is the address of a new prison they're sending Mandy and Beth to. Well, I've never heard of it. No, it's right in the middle of nowhere. Right out in the wilds, I'm afraid. Sticking them somewhere like that, miles from the family and friends, it's terrible. They're just trying to break our spirit, but they won't succeed. Too right, they won't. Too right. Oh, by the way, did you manage to see Rosie? Yeah, yeah, I did. She's spotting. Well, has she been to see the doctor? She wouldn't. But she must. Uh, I'll just pop next door for a minute. I need a few things from the shops. See you later. Yes, see. Bye. She says the same thing happened, you know, when she was expecting their call. But that was over 20 years ago, when she was a young woman. I tried talking to her, Jean, but she wouldn't listen. She's convinced she's going to be all right. Well, what did you think? I mean, how did she look? Well, to tell you the truth, I think she looked awful. I think she's putting on a brave face. OK, then. Arves. You are? Arves. Hey. You and me, the five grand, we'll split it. No way. Oh, God, God don't be tight. Not a chance. I thought we were supposed to be mates. Partners. Well, in suit your day, Jimmy. Meaning what? Meaning I'm not interested, partner, so do one. Home sweet home, mate. Eh? Hope the frying pan into the fiery. Hey, come on, Mick. You haven't heard from her for a couple of days. Maybe she's finally got the message. The amount of times I thought that's in, and then suddenly out of nowhere. Hiya. Hi. So, so, so you come in here. Nice holiday, love. Yeah, it was great. Look, uh, I'll take these upstairs. Check on the kids. See you later. See you later. Mate. Throw them. So, uh, Jimmy calls up with you. Yeah. Told me the girls are being moved. Did he tell you about the protest? It's off its head, isn't it? Because this mob had turned up. How can that to call a protest off? You know that, don't you? I'm sorry, sir. No, don't be daft, Jack. It's not your fault. You were only doing your best for Mandy and Beth. You and the other girls have been brilliant. I don't know what I'd have done without your support, you know. So. So, um, where exactly are they moving them to? I was frightened you were going to ask me that. I was in the wilds in Yorkshire. How far is it? Well, David Crosby says it's a four-hour drive there and back. By car? God knows how long it's going to take me by train. You know, they might as well have shipped them out to Australia for all I'm ever going to see them. <coughs> all right, matey. What now, Jimmy? Well, that's no way to talk to a mate, is it? What do you want? I'm just being neighbourly, you know, checking that you're all right in that way. Well, Sam, see you, Jimmy. Hang on, hang on. We need to talk. What about? Me and you, you and me, us. What about us? Our little deal. There's nothing more to be said about that. Come on, partner, you can't be doing this to me. Watch me. All right, all right, I'll settle for a grand. Bye, Jimmy. 500. See you then, Jimmy. All right, all right, aye, aye, yeah, yeah. I'll be getting back then, eh? See ya. What's soft lad after? Uh, he lost his keys for the salary on the club, just seeing if I had any spares. All right. Where's your mum? Upstairs, I'm lying down. Oh, that's my girl. Take it nice and easy. See this? What is it? Have a look. Bracelet. It's for the baby. It's silver. It's tiny. Crack it in there. Oh, my mum will love it. I'll take her up a nice cup of tea, show it to her. Be a nice surprise for her. She'll be made up.
<laughs> right. That's everything. Oh, no. What's up? It's a letter from you-know-who. I recognise the writing. Oh, well, so much for not hearing from here again. You know me? I suppose I better have. And what's it say? It says I won't be seeing her again. Well, well at least you've got a result then. It says nobody will be seeing her again. You will. Sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Love always, Jenny. Hang on, you don't think she's going to do herself in? Oh, no, she wouldn't do that, would she? Oh, I don't know, Sin. I don't know what to think anymore. <laughs> you awake? Yeah. Buy a nice cup of tea. Oh. Oh, thanks, love. <sighs> Rest. Mm, yeah, yeah, not bad. But you needed it after that protest this week, mm. You used to knack at me standing on the picket line, and I wasn't five months pregnant. <laughs> <sighs> not long to go now, eh, love? Just think. Our own little girl. <laughs> oh, I, uh, popped into town on the way home from work. Mm. Picked something up for the baby. What is it? Have a look. Silver. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> oh, come on, don't be going all soft on me. <laughs> you don't understand. Understand what? I don't feel well. How do you mean? I I haven't felt right for a couple of days. You what? Why didn't you say? Well, I I just thought to the past, I didn't want to worry. I'm sorry. And you still feel rough, like? Uh, I... Oh, look, what is it, Rose? What's wrong? Uh, I've been bleeding. You are? It just got worse the last ten minutes. Oh, no. I think I might be losing the baby. Oh, God, oh, man. Carl! Carl! Uh, yeah, what is it? Quick, phone an ambulance, son! You're all right. Uh, you're all right. Um, Everything's going to be all right. I'm frightened. She's not here. It was you I came to see, actually, not Katie. Well, unless you've got my money, you're wasting your time. Here's your cash. Now, where's my tapes? I am glad you've seen sense. But I want the money before you get your precious tapes back. Not before I see them first. Do you think I'm soft or something? I'm not letting you snatch them off me. You'll get it when that's counters you put somewhere safe. This is blackmail, you know. Just wait there. Oh, there you are. Hi, Ben. 
Yes, Eddie says thank you to everyone for the flowers. Oh, uh, I see. Well, it wasn't looking too good for the baby at one point. Oh, have you seen Sinbad? I've been trying to contact him over the weekend. No, I haven't. Is it important? Well, it's about the Jordash appeal. There's been a new development. Good news. Well, it's a little delicate, as a matter of fact. Make you know, confidential, I'm afraid. All oh, right. Well, if I do see him, I'll tell him looking off for him. Thanks. See you, mate. Oh, by the way, congratulations. Hey. On your forthcoming betrothal. You what? I was told you were getting engaged. I'm surprised that you're listening to gossip, David. Oh, good Lord, no. It, certainly not. I, it was just that I was given to understand that you were uh, about to announce your uh, engagement. Well, I'm not. And I would appreciate it if people would mind their own business. Yes, yes, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry if there was a misunderstanding, Vic. I'll, uh, uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later, then. Bye. Right. David! What have you been doing? Oh, just checking that you can count. Yeah, well, these better be OK. Don't worry, they've been well looked after. Don't like having to buy back my own property. You haven't bought anything. You've just lent me the money like you promised you would. Yeah, that's if it is a loan. Don't worry, you'll get all your money back. Plus interest. Get lost, the way you've treated me. You can whistle for it. It's only because I don't want charity of a creep like you that I'm repaying it all. Do you honestly expect me to believe that after pulling off this little extortion scam, you intend to pay me back? I don't want to be in debt to you any longer than I have to be. Try. All right, Mick. All right, Sim. Have you seen Bing? He's been looking for you. No, I thought. Well, something about uh, Mandy and Beth's appeal. There's been some kind of development. He said it was confidential. Confidential? Oh, well. Yo, well, look, if you do see him, will you apologise to him for us? Why? What have you done? Well, he congratulated me on my engagement and I bit his head off. Oh, head again? Yeah, well, poor old Bing wasn't too nosy. No. I'll nip out see if he's in. So, uh, what's the news on the girls, then? Well... It looks like they're going to be stuck up in North Yorkshire until the appeal, at least. Possibly even longer. Well, the appeal must come through soon. Well, fingers crossed. But I don't think I can wait that long, mate. What do you mean? Well, I'm thinking of jibbing it and getting the place to live near to the prison, you know. It's a bit drastic, isn't it? I mean, I know it's a bit of a trek, but surely it won't take you that long. Well, I checked out all the timetables yesterday, and I'm going to have to be up first thing just to get there in time for visiting. And I'm not going to get back till nearly midnight. And is that by train? Two trains and three buses, and that's just getting there. <sighs> it's going to cost you a fortune, traipsing backwards and forwards all the time. Yeah, I've had the time and the money I'm worried about. I just feel happier if I was closer to them somehow. But don't you think you're giving up a lot by moving, Sim? I mean, you could pack your job in, sell the house, and they get moved again or even freed. I know, but... Sim, you've got security here for when they'll need it. You can't give that up. I suppose you're right. All right, sir. Hey, uh, I thought you were staying school dinners. I came home because everyone was giving me loads. Why? Because the headmaster wondered where Miss Swift was. Why did he ask you? Because she's been off and she's told everyone that she's been on holiday with us. All right, son. Go make yourself a butty. I'll be up in a minute. Trust him, bud. See you, mate. Why can't I get this woman out of my life? Maybe she is. Oh, you don't think she could have taught herself, do you? Well, you never know. And after that note she left the other night. Oh, this is mad, this. Why do I feel responsible for it? Well, do you think you should go around and check if she is all right? Yeah, I think I'd better add. Do you want me to go with you? Oh, if you don't mind, mate. Not at all. I can go around and see Bing later. Any news? Mr Banks, I'm sorry. The scan has shown that the baby has died. I really am very sorry. Um, how's Rosie? Well, she's uh, 
I'm still having some problems. I think you should pop it and see her. She will be all right, won't she? Try not to worry, please. Come to see Jenny in flat four. Miss Swift? Yeah, that's her. Okay, then go straight up. I think she's in. But she has been very quiet these past two days. Hey, you don't think she's been lying dead for two days, do you? I don't say that, sir. You heard what the Alman said, and she doesn't look like she'd miss a trick. Jenny? Jenny, you there? There goes. Jenny, you there? Jenny? Jenny? Hey, what's the hell, Find the life out of me. What are you doing creeping up on me like that for? I'm sorry, I heard yeah, the noise. I just came to see if you were all right. No sign of her then. Well, it looks like she's still alive, I think. Mm. Weird. This is all my key. That's my wedding ring. I keep it on the best side table. I didn't even notice it had gone missing. That's my shirt. This looks like my old toothbrush. I threw it away ages ago. This looks like the sort of razor I would use. You reckon this is your rubbish? She's off their cake. Anyone who goes around rubbing other people's bin bags once they're testing. I'm going to the police over this. I mean, this is theft. Not to mention harassment. Yeah, well, come out before fatal attraction gets back. Miss Swift, are you there? Uh, uh, no way. She must have popped on for something. She'll be in flat five with Miss Raven, I should imagine. All right, well, I'll call back. No, I I'll call her. No, there's no need. I think I should. This is all very irregular. Honest, there's no need. I'll call back and see her again. Yeah. Ta-da. You want to see me, Sean? Come in and sit down. Oh, so you got the Smith & Windsor master tapes back then, yeah? Yeah. Had to pay that sister of yours 2,000 quid ransom for them. Oh, right. Money that would have paid your wages for the next couple of months. What do you mean? You're going to have to find a new job. But why? Because it was you that gave her access to the tapes in the first place, and I can't afford to have people working for me that are careless with important items. You can't blame it all on me. You're the one who provoked it into taking the tapes in the first place. It was you who used it. Yeah, but I'm hardly going to sack myself now, am oh, I? That's why I get the elbow, because our Jackie got the better of you, is that it? I would have got rid of you straight away, but I'd never got the tapes back. Anyway, I don't think it's going to work with you here and being Jackie's brother. Not after what's happened. Yeah, but you can stick your job. I don't want to work for someone with models like you anyway. Oh, and by the way, if you're thinking of doing me for unfair dismissal, you better warn that sister of yours that she won't come out of it looking too good. She certainly wasn't worth two grand. If I wanted to get me own back, I'd do it my own way. I wouldn't go to a tribunal. Get your desk cleared and beat it. Don't worry, I'm not staying here any longer than I have to. It's not a sign I'm working for someone like you. Oh, and make sure you don't take anything that's not yours. Thieving probably runs in your family.
You moron, you've wiped it. That's not my problem. I don't work here anymore. It's only a small operation, Mrs. Banks. The baby seems to be lodged. That's why you're still having problems. We all always still love. I'm gonna try for another one as soon as possible, can't we? Yeah, of course. Whatever you want, love. Whatever you want. How are you? We've been trying to reach you for days. I'm fine. So what's all this news then? Ah, uh, Stan. It's rather delicate, actually. It's about Rachel's relationship with her father. How do you mean? Well, Jean and I, quite by accident, have discovered a number of letters that Trevor wrote to Rachel. And some of the passages in them are, well, quite frankly, rather disturbing. It does appear that she lied in court and that he did, in fact, interfere with her. The dirty... Indeed. But the main point of these letters is that they could enormously strengthen the case for the appeal. Well, where are the letters now? We've got to get them to the solicitor. Hold on. You see, Rachel doesn't even know that we're aware of the letters. Has she still got them? Yes. But you see, she's placed her trust in Jean and myself. And we both feel that we cannot betray that trust by forcing her to hand them over. Especially as they're going to show that she lied in court. Yeah, but this could be just the evidence we need to get the girls out of prison. I understand that, old son. But that evidence can be much more powerful if Rachel backs it up herself. If we could just wait, she may well volunteer the truth. She's already opening up and starting to accept it. Look, David, I just want the girls out of prison. Now, if it comes to a choice between the baby being born out of prison and the risk of Rachel never speaking to us again, then I know which one I'd choose. You may not have to choose if we can just bide our time and try to bring her round. Okay. But if it doesn't look like she'll change her mind in the next few days, then I'll get them off her. And the solicitor will have them. lives in flat four, you say? Yeah, but there's nobody there before. This is when you say you saw all the items that you've mentioned. Like I said, the doors on the latch are winning. Look, you've got to do something about it. She could be dangerous. Hello? Is that Miss Swift? Yes. This is Police Constable Colburn from Manor Park Police Station. I'd like to come up and have a word with you, if I may. OK, come straight up. Look, are you sure about this? Because, to be honest, all we have up to now is you complained the other week about this Miss Swift buying your flowers and presents. I mean, it doesn't sound like the type of behaviour from someone dangerous. You'll change your mind when you see this lot upstairs. OK, then. Let's go and have a look. It's all in the bedroom. The wall is covered in photos of me. Mr Johnson, you can't have a person arrested because they've got pictures of you on the wall. Otherwise, Thomas the Tank Engine could have my little niece locked up, no problem. What's going on? Just following up an inquiry, madam. Well, I'm the owner of this house. Shouldn't you be seeing me first? If I need to speak to you, madam, I will, but I'm sure that won't be necessary. Thank you very much. What about all the stuff she's got in there? And a nick of me rubbish. You want me to arrest her for nicking your rubbish? Let's just wait and see what Miss Swift has to say, eh? Nick? It's all through here. Mr Johnson? I'm sorry, Miss Swift. Is it all right if we take a look around your flat? Yes, of course. Be my guest. But what's the matter? What is it you're looking for? Mr Johnson? It was all here before. All my missing gear was there. And that wall was covered in photos of me. So what's happened then, Mr Johnson? Been framed, have you? Look, Mr Johnson. Look, I'm not crazy. I know what I saw. She must have known I was coming back. She's moved it all. Look, Mr Johnson, I think you've wasted enough of mine and Miss Swift's time already. Look, I can prove it. I've got a mate. He saw it all. Oh, you've got a mate, have you? And why haven't you mentioned this mate until now? I didn't want him to get involved. I took it off before I went to the police station. Right, come on, Mr Johnson. Time to go, eh? You can stay if you like, Mick. 
Are you sure you're comfortable being alone together, Miss Swift? Yeah, I think we'd better talk things over. Have you calmed down now? Yeah. Look, any problems, just call the station. And I don't suppose we'll be receiving any more calls from you, eh, Mr. Johnson? Is that Jackie in? Oh, no, she's gone over to stay at your mum's for the night. Hey, have you scared and I'll have to tell me fella, you know. Well, not actually. Um, he's just given me the sack. How come? Oh, I don't really want to talk about it. Oh, look, come in and tell us what's happened. It's just, um, well, it's just there's been a load of trouble in work over some tape that's gone missing. And Sean's blamed me for it. Well, do you want me to ring him? I can ask him to give you another chance. No, I don't bother. Don't worry, if I ask him, he'll give you your job back. He's really nice, you know. Probably feels last about second year anyway. Look, um, Katie, well, I shouldn't be the one who has to tell you this, but he sacked me because of our Jackie. Jackie? Yeah. Well, it was her who had the tapes. She robbed him when she came in and visited me at work because he wouldn't hand over some money he promised to lend her. Well, are you sure? I mean, neither of them have said anything to me about robbing tapes or lending money. Well, they wouldn't, would they? They've been seeing each other behind your back. Jackie and Sean? Are you sure? Well, how do you know? Well, Jackie told me about it. Be best mate, my boyfriend. Look, Katie, I'm, I'm sorry, but I mean, it was Sean who made all the moves. It wasn't Jackie. Yeah, but it takes two to. Tango. No, to cop for your mate's fella or your girlfriend's mate. Well, listen, I'll be round tomorrow anyway. I want to let her know what she's done. Yeah, and I'll be here when she gets back. I'll see you. See ya. Well, I've never had the police called out to any of my tenants before. Yes, and I'm sorry. It was all a bit of a misunderstanding. It was just my fiancé getting a bit worried about my well-being. Everything is fine now. Sorry again. Bye. She tends to go on a bit. <laughs> never mind, dear. What are you playing at? Why are you doing this to me? I mean, you cover your wall with photos of me. You steal my possessions and my rubbish. And then when the police come, you make it look as though it's me that's the nutter. Why? Because... I'm sick. It's serious. And I've just been trying to get close to you. How serious? Very. The doctors have tried everything. I've got a brain tumour, Mick. They don't know how long I've got. You're dying? What? Is this another one of your sick jokes? No. When I collapsed in Southport last week, I thought that was it. It could happen at any time. That's why I just wanted to spend some last moments of happiness with you. I don't believe this. Huh? So why did you discharge yourself out the hospital, then? Because there's nothing more they can do. I don't want to spend my final days having more tests and being seen by sympathetic doctors who can't cure me. I don't want to believe you, love. This is wrecking my head. I've got to get out of here. I'm not sure if I can repair the damage, that is, if it's repairable at all. 
In the circumstances, I think it would be best if she were to have a hysterectomy. But that means no more children. I'm afraid so. Well, isn't that a bit drastic? Well, I know how distressing this will be for your wife, but she is losing a lot of blood. It is the best option. Well, can't we let her decide that? If I were to temporarily repair the problem, she probably would have to come back in at a later date for the operation anyway. As she's unconscious and prepared for it, I would recommend going ahead with the operation without delay. I'm, I'm sorry, Doc. So, do you need me to give you the go-ahead? Well, no, but um, we'd like your opinion, or rather your blessing. Well, if I wasn't here, what would you do? What I'm recommending now. I don't know what to say, Doc. All I care about is that Rosie's OK. Just... Just do what you have to do. I'm sorry. It is for the best.